final leg back here in 2020 for the first episode of this week in track and field we had the ncaa athletes and the pro athletes really kickstarting their season back again of course we have the world indoor championships coming up soon in nanjing we also have a great ncaa championships to look forward to so kicking things off for the first weekend in january we had the women's 60 meter dash already much higher quality for the ncaa than it was last year at this time we had cambria sturgis from north carolina nt only a sophomore at the school she managed to run 7.15 seconds at the meet in Kentucky, an NCAA leading time and would have ranked her number two in the NCAA last year. So again, already that really high quality. We also have Jayla Kirkland from Florida State, a junior there. She was competing at Clemson and managed to run 7.17 seconds. Finally, Brandi Presley, the sophomore at Old Miss, she managed to run 7.18 seconds. So three of these ladies, very high quality in the 60 meter dash and all three of them, only Kirkland was the only one to run at NCAA championships last year indoor and she didn't even make the final so these three ladies look primed to be able to make it to the NCAA final and bring some high quality there. Now moving over to the 60 meter hurdles, we have Trey Cunningham, the junior at Florida State. He managed to open things up at the Clemson meet running 7.61 seconds in NCAA leading time. He was actually third place at the NCAA indoors last year, only behind Grant Holloway and Daniel Roberts. So he's definitely primed to potentially go for that title. He was also competing with his teammate, Caleb Parker. He's a senior at Florida State, managed to run right behind him 7.64 seconds. So these two guys really highlighting the 60 meter hurdles in the NCAA right now. Now in the high jump, we have Abigail O'Donohue, the junior from LSU. She managed to jump an NCAA leading performance of 1.84 meters, really strong performance for her. And this would have ranked sixth in the NCAA last year. So very high quality for her. Moving over to the pole vault, we have Lisa Gunnarsson also at LSU. She's actually a transfer from Virginia Tech. In the pole vault, she managed to jump 4.45 meters to lead the NCAA for this weekend. One of the really big marks though, we have Rayvon Gray. He's the NCAA champion from 2019. In the long jump, he managed to jump 8.04 meters. NCAA leading performance only two centimeters away from his personal best that he jumped in 2019. So definitely primed going for a defense of his NCAA championship this year. In the shot, but we have Turner Washington, the sophomore at Arizona State. He actually transferred from the University of Arizona. He managed to throw 20.43 meters. Really strong performance that's showing he's going to hopefully continue on going for that NCAA title later on this year. Now we can never forget about Matt Bowling, one of the huge prospects coming out of high school last year. He's now competing as a Georgia Bulldog and he competed in his first meet at Clemson. He managed to get second place in the 60 meters running 6.68 seconds. In the long jump he also got second place and jumped 7.50 meters and also he ran the anchor leg on the 4x4 for the Georgia Bulldog. So definitely going to be a huge prospect for this year. Going to be seeing what he's going to do through the NCAA season. Now let's take a look at some of the pro results. We have Yulia Levchenko from Ukraine. She was competing in her home country in the high jump she managed to jump two meters already the world leading performance in the high jump definitely going to be looking for a medal going to the world indoor championships this year we also had brianna williams from jamaica remember she was a really really high prospect last year in the 100 meter dash she was competing at clemson she actually finished second in the 60 meter dash running 7.25 seconds really showing that she's definitely going to be going for something big later on in the season going towards the olympics we also had andrew Irwin from the united states though indoor pole vault champion from 2019 for the USA. He managed to jump 5.80 meters at the indoor pole vault meet at Jack Frost. He's definitely going to be going for a defense of his indoor title at the USA championships this year and potentially going for the USA team to the world championships in Nanjing. Now we just want to highlight two athletes. We have Wadla Jonathan from the United States and Tajay Gale from Jamaica. Both these athletes signed pro contracts. Wadla Jonathan didn't choose a shoe contract yet, but she did sign with an agent and then Tajay Gale coming off the World Outdoor Championship gold medal in the long jump. He's now going to be competing for Puma. So these two athletes definitely going to be ones to look out for in the 2020 season. All right, so those are just some of the highlights from this weekend in track and field. Of course, a lot more to come. Like I said, we have the World Indoor Championships coming up in China. The NCAA Championships is really going to be heating up. And of course, we have the Olympics later on in the season. Make sure you guys leave a comment below. Let me know some of the highlights that I might have missed or some of the things that you're looking out for in this 2020 indoor season. Make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and we'll be back again in the next video. Thanks.